Okay, so we got left on the passenger valve cover. We had the other uh, breather hose going to the valve, back of the valve cover. We're going to pull that off because we're going to show you our uh, catch can setup in one of the steps coming up forward. And then also have the canister vent hose here. This is going to be, this molded tube is going to be replaced by um, pure um, tubing itself, the rubber hose. So I'm going to pull these two off here and then that's going to make a nice clean uh, setup ready to put our uh, oil cooler assembly back in with our adapter set up to feed the turbocharger. We'll show you how we cleaned out the valley real well. Just paper towels, maybe a little bit of brake cleaner, clean it up inside there. And we'll hook all that back up, put a lower intake on, and uh, here we go. So this one's a little tough to get to here. It is around the back. Now this one goes from the top down, whereas the driver's side went this way. This one's really sitting on the top. So you just got to reach back in there and a little tight here. And you want to wiggle and pull it up with your fingers and just get it, get it to get just right in there and it'll come off. Okay. You see what I was saying? It was, this one is more of an angle like this. So I kind of just pulled down here while I was pulling here and I got that to come up. Again, you can see all the oil by design, but not that much. Look at this liquid oil here. All right, so this one, we're going to use parts of this in a later step. So let me put this aside. Okay, the next piece here, this is a vent, the evap emissions vent going back into the intake manifold. We are going to have it hooked back up so that all the emissions parts work in that system, uh, but not using this hose. So let's get this hard one out of the way. Okay, continuing to move, canister vent hose over here. Looks like someone's got aftermarket equipment here, zip tied this up, so I'll just take that one zip tie off. It's not factory. So, we'll go here. A lot of times these vehicles have been modified. You know, they have other, op they have other aftermarket accessories. So, I think it's this one here. Slide this pick, Put that open there. I'm going to take off this as well. All right, so I took this piece off the way. And this one is the upper. It has the same connector as the fuel pump did. So you're going to do your, your undo your safety clip here. Real simple. Comes right off. Set that there. Push from the bottom and pull. All right. And this molded is going to be replaced by a standard vacuum hose more streamlined straight across to our vent control cylinder okay so when we took the uh, oil cooler with the oil filter assembly off of here you know it's, it spilled a little oil out of the oil cooler it spilled a little coolant and it was all down in all these little holes down here we took the time paper towel we went through here okay and we just dot it all up, put a little brake cleaner on there, dab it some more, and it's perfectly clean. The surfaces are perfectly clean. We're then going to go back together. We made sure the knock sensors remain plugged in. Now we're going to reinstall the oil cooler with the filter housing assembly back in. Plug in the two plugs that are remain on there, right here. And then we're going to torque the, I think it was five remaining E8 reverse torque fasteners. But I wanted to show you clean, professional, 100% is what, is what we're looking for, all right? Okay, this is an oil feed assembly we put together right here. We made sure it was uh, great. Applied the Teflon to the proper areas. It's ready to go back in. We checked our O-rings. We're going to set it back down there. And then we're going to, these are the ones we're going to tighten, these five. Here we go.
start them all by hand. And then we can run them down and then we'll torque them up. Okay, so we got our E8. We're gonna do it five times. 106 inch pounds. All right, the next step is this is the, oil, the coolant that goes to the oil cooler. We gotta get it behind the fuel feed. So just pick it up, grab it, stick it behind. You'll see, it's a good fit. No problem, it's got the abrasion on it there. top now we're going to plug in the sending unit and the switch the tab all right looking good all right so we've got our oil feed line is next got our cooler down there everything's plugged in excellent we have seen a couple times, um, you know, guys get the whole Jeep back together and they got a code, hey, coolant temperature sensor, oil pressure sensor, circuit high. Circuit high means circuit open. It's the highest amount of resistance you can have. So if you get a code after you're all done, hey, it's circuit high, stop. Look at the component it's talking about. It's not plugged in. Be thorough as you're going through, double check. You don't have to go backwards. But circuit high, remember, is open. It's not plugged in, just made a mistake. You gotta go forward. All right, so let's go back to it. We got our line covered, as you're gonna see why. It's gonna, it's gonna touch things, but with the sheathing, it's not gonna rubber hole anything. It's gonna be last a long time, provide good service, trouble free. So let's pick a good routing. We're gonna go right behind here, behind the harness, okay? And in front of the water to the cooler. Thread it on the top. Okay. Spread it on the top. It's going to go like this. Make sure how we know what it's going to look like. Make sure it's all good. And go over to here. Routing looks excellent. 9 16 Wrench is the tool. Angle it to how you like it. All right. Then you're going to tighten it up. It's not tight. This is a flared fitting, it's an AN fitting. It seals with a flare. So, and when you get it all done and you look inside there, you're going to see wow, that fits, that fits, that's not rubbing, that's nice. It's perfect. Each of these pieces is made for us, it's a very special combination. And it's proven. Almost there. I'll get this tightened up and I'll get the camera in there so you can get a good look of what she looks like when she's ready to go. Okay, so we got our oil cooler and filter housing installed, all torqued up. Just want to show you how nice it looks inside here. It's plugged in, plugged in back here. This is actually going to go plugged into the T fitting in the back here. That's why we have it behind it. So it's not going to end up like this bunched up. It's going to end up like that. So you can see it's got a straight shot there. Um, here, this is actually lower. 
all of these components here are special for us. Uh, if this was just taller, you know, another quarter inch, you have a problem with fitment. If you made another angle, it, it would be very difficult. So this is going to flow well, it's covered, the stainless steel line's covered, so no abrasion, nothing's going to happen there. It's coming over to our turbocharger, we're ready to go. On this next step, uh, we're going to put the lower intake manifold on and go from there.